Hi everyone, welcome to the Your Mentor channel. So in this video, as you can see, I have created a four cross four array antenna, which was ba which is based on ISM band that is uh, industrial, scientific, and medical application frequencies. So this design has been created on 5.8 gigahertz frequency and with the help of power divider configuration as you can see in this case so we have designed this uh, antenna with uh, having a dimension of approximately 11 by 66 uh, 11 centimeter by 6.6 .6 centimeter okay so we will simulate it first and because since it's a very uh, 16 element array so we'll I'm not able to simulate it full in your uh, in this video but uh, part by part we'll simulate it and we'll come to know that uh, what is the result what is the gain and what is the directivity so this array antenna uh, is uh, placed at a distance of 0.6 lambda okay so this you can design it on your own as well this is also one kind of a client antenna we are thinking to deliver at early as possible okay so just in order for in order to depict the results and all we are simulating it okay and please put your comments on this array and please do visit our website that is www.yomentor.co.in okay our services we all you, you must have know that uh, we assist in antenna design, we assist in paper writing, we assist in report writing as well. These are the services which we are providing. Okay. Regarding uh, some of the people have uh, communicated with me with the, the RAM configuration of the system. One should be having for the successful simulation of these kinds of designs. So I will say that uh, minimum of 8 GB is required or if it is 16 GB RAM is also there, then also it is very very good okay and uh, if you are using graphics card graphic card is also a very good thing and uh, along with that ssd if you are having your c drive as a 500 uh, size 256 or 512 gb of ssd then it also it will be helpful for you and in case if i suppose in my system as well i am having a 8 gb ram with the core i5 processor and ssd is also there okay I am using uh, a 1GB graphic card only. Okay. So if I go with the beyond this design, suppose uh, 32 elements or 64 elements, then this uh, design will not able to simulate in this system because it will be using the full capacity of the system. So in my system also, it will take minimum of 15-20 uh, minutes. Okay. So I will skip it and we'll show you directly the results okay so the file has been simulated i have uh, skipped the portion so we'll see uh, the vswr whether vswr is matching or not okay so it is having a minimum of 1.05 at the 5.84 gigahertz okay 5.8 gigahertz we can assume Impedance also, it is 49.6, which is ne nearly to 50 ohms only. We'll see the gain, obviously, which is a far field gain of a 3D pattern. We'll see it is coming around to be 17.01, which is realized gain, not the normalized gain. Okay, so it is having a very good uh, directivity pattern directional pattern which is a very directivity and having minimum side lobe level as you can see okay then further if i'll talk about the gain on so it is 17.33 and uh, directivity also it is 18.24 so the efficiency nearly about 90 percent efficiency is a 90 percent and as you can see it is totally a very directional pattern very very directional pattern it is having a minimum back lobes and uh, side lobe is also there which is unwanted uh, definitely okay and uh, further if we will talk about uh, the 
copolarization in the Cartesian plane. So it is coming around to be minus 20. Okay, and uh, in this case of uh, copolarization, it is coming around to be minus uh, 18.23. Okay, 18.23 dB. Okay, and that has to be in gain, not in case of this. It has to be in dB, not in the case of TBI. Okay, so we will see regarding this uh, surface current, surface current at 5.8 gigahertz. So we'll animate this field. So as you can see, all elements is not at all coupling. Coupling is uh, is available, but uh, very lesser coupling is there, and it is showing a very good pattern with the help of uh, power dividers. Power divider has to be made very very carefully when you are making a large array elements, and impedance needs to be measured continuously part by part okay so one can design this element as well with the help of uh, the simple tool cst microwave studio as well okay and uh, once if you are able to design any element, then you can go by step by step from two element, four element, eight element like that. You can go easily. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess now this video is sufficient and I hope you guys like this antenna array design, which is for ISM band. Okay. That is 5.8 gigahertz. Okay. So VSWR we have already seen. So S11 is also near about minus 31 actually okay okay so thank you everyone please do visit our website and one more thing soon i will be bringing advanced antenna designing course and for the last time for uh, last batch i will start for the first ever course my of mine which was cs uh, which was antenna designing theory to practical that also i'll start again for the last time Okay, so if you are enjoying this video and all, so please do register for that course as well. I will soon start the registration. Don't forget. And for that also, I will put a video, starting uh, starting video, so that you, you people are informed. Okay. And do follow my uh, Facebook page of the Your Mentor for updates and all. And one more course along with the advanced antenna designing. HFSS course I will bring it is about to finalize just more I have to give some proofreading regarding that course whether it is good or not any changes are required or not okay so these kind of things I have to look for and after that launching of HFSS course I will launch the advanced antenna designing course okay and before these two courses I'll I'm thinking to uh, again start the registration for the my first ever course which was antenna designing as i've said antenna designing theory to practical okay thank you everyone thank you so much